All right, for this last problem that we're going to work on together, before you try one or two, that's all you're going to try today, two problems. But I wanted to do this video separate from the other two because this one is a little bit funky in the fact that we have to work with a zero, okay? So here's our final problem. All right, it's going to be in purple. So if I have 721 divided by, oops, that's kind of a terrible seven, divided by seven, okay, I do everything the same. I'm going to switch colors. Let's switch to red, okay. First things first is I underline. So I underline seven and ask myself, can seven fit inside seven? Yep, okay, then my underlining is done. Then I divide. I ask myself one of two questions. What is seven divided by seven? Or if I don't know that, I can ask myself, how many times can seven go into seven? Well, I know seven divided by seven is one. So I put that one above my house, right above my underlying number. Cool, divided. Now I have to multiply. I multiply whatever I just laid down on top of my house, my one times my divisor. 1 times 7, easy, 7. You might be thinking, Mrs. DeGracie, this one doesn't seem as so bad. This one's easy. It is easy, but I'm going to show you in a second where it might get a little tricky. Okay, I multiply. Then I subtract. Again, easy. Subtract. 7 minus 7 is 0. Easy. Bring down. Well, I ended with a 0, so am I done? No. I got to bring down. Okay, I gotta bring down that two. Bring it on down. Okay, period. Not period, but bring down. All right, then I start all over. Now here is where it's gonna get a little tricky. Okay, I underline. Can seven go into zero? No. Can seven go into two? No. Seven cannot go into two. So instead of I can't just bring this down because I didn't do any of these steps. So if I get where my divisor can't go into my underlined um, number that I have without bringing down, I can't bring down that one yet, I have to put a zero on top. So my seven can't go into my two. Okay, my seven cannot go into my two. So I have to put a zero on top. So, if I can't underline, and I have to put a zero down, that's fine. Then, what you do, after I put my zero down, then you can bring down that final number. So, because seven couldn't go into two, I have to put that zero on top. Well, now I can bring down that one, and now I can pretend that I have seven going into 21, and I can extend that underline. The reason for that, friends, is because I know, I'm gonna do this really quickly, I know that set 21 divided by seven is three. Divide, underline, I know three times seven is 21. Gotta subtract, zero, love when I end in a zero, and I have nothing to bring down, love it, I'm done. Friends, if I wouldn't have put that zero in, I would have thought that seven goes into or 721 only 13 times. That just doesn't make sense. So if you underline and brought down a number and your divisor cannot go into it, like seven couldn't go into two, you have to put a zero there and then you can bring down. Okay? So I think now that 720, 721 divided by 7 is 103, but I'm not going to mark that as my answer yet. I'm going to check. So I go 103 times 7, my quotient times my divisor, and if that gives me my dividend, 721, I know I'm correct. All right, 7 times 3 is 21. Bring, carry the 2, bring down the 1. 7 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. 
and seven times one is seven. Ooh, 721. So the next, on the next slide, you're gonna have two problems. None of those problems will have a zero in it like this last one, but you will eventually encounter some problems like that. The problems that you are going to have to try will have nothing left over. I want to see you checking your work and taking a selfie of your division plus your multiplication problem to check. Good luck. Don't get frustrated. But remember, this is going to be challenging for a lot of us. Practice one problem every single day and you will get better with long division. Make sure you rewatch the videos. You can find videos online if that helps you. Okay, but good luck and have fun.